Hello guys, um, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect your AWS Athena to Power BI Desktop using ODBC, which is um, Open Database Connectivity. So first of all, we need to install ODBC driver for Athena. So let's go to our browser and go to ODBC. So this is our Athena. So this is our data set and I've run this and the total number of the of rows is um three million five hundred and thirteen thousand six hundred and forty nine. So let's go to um our browser and type Amazon Amazon. Atina ODBC and click enter. So it will give you. So we're going to choose this one connecting to Amazon Atina with ODBC. Click on it. So we we'll see configure Amazon Atina ODBC 2 points. We we'll see configure DBC. Athena ODBC 1.x. So I'm going to choose this one. We'll scroll down. And I'm downloading it on my window with 64 bits. If you're using Windows 32 bits, you can click on this one. But if you're using Windows 64 bits, you can click on this one. Let's click on this driver. So it's downloading. So let's click on our download. So it has finished downloading. Click on it. Click on next. Click on check on check this and click next. Click on next. Click on install. Click on yes. So it has finished installing. So now let's um now that we we'll finish installing our ODBC, we need to go to our Amazon our Amazon console and set up and set up um an access key and secret key. So this is my user, and I'm going to be using this one, this special mage. And and this one, and you can see the policy attached to it, administrator access, um, Amazon Redshift access, and Amazon S3 full access. Actually, I don't need this Redshift access and this, but I've already um, attached it to this user. So let me just continue. Since since is a um is a personal project, but when you're doing um a production project like this, you need to give policy of least privilege to the user. So now let's go to the security credential. And let's go to active. So I'm going to, um, for the purpose of this, um, for the purpose of this project, I'm going to deactivate this one. I'll deactivate it, then I'll delete it. I'll delete it, so copy and paste and delete. So let's, um, so now let's create a new access key. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose third party service. You plan to use this access key to enable access for a third party application or service that monitor manager. AWS resources. So I'm going to choose third party service because you're going to be using Power BI and ODBC to access S3 bucket and click on I understand and click on next. This one is optional. Let me just say um, Power BI access. Click on create key. So it has created our key for us. 
ensure that this key is secured and don't share this secret key with anybody, anybody that have access to this secret key and this um, access key can make, can have advantage of your AWS console and use your resources without your permission. So after this project, I'm going to deactivate it and delete it. So it's not relevant hiding it. So and this is our secret key and access key. So now let's go to our search window and look for ODBC. ODBC. We already have it here. So I'm going to be using the ODBC data source 64 bits with downloading. I'll click on it. So under here, I'll choose a system. I'll click on system DSN. We'll choose on, we'll click on create. We'll click on add. Under add, then we'll choose Simba Athena or DBC driver. Select this one, click on finish. And the data source name, you can give it whatever name you like. So I'm gonna be give I'm gonna be calling it access S3. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be calling it access access bucket. I'll put the same thing in the description for the region. My region is US East one. Um, so let me come to Martina. If you check Martina here, you will see it's um, US East one. So you will choose your own region and put it on this, in this AWS region. So mine is US East one. So everything, this the Sigma will be default. The primary will be default. This one will be default. So it's going to be auto and the encryption will be not set. So for the authentication option, you click on the authentication option. So the secret key and access key we created will now be relevant. We'll copy the access key, which is going to be our username here. Copy it and paste it here. And the Secret key is going to be our password. We we'll copy it and you paste it here and click OK. And come here and click test. So you can see text result is successful, successfully connected to data source. So now click OK. Click OK. Click OK. So launch your Power BI. So this is my Power BI desktop. Click on it. Close this one and click on get data and come over here and type ODBC. Open database connectivity, select ODBC and click connect. And under the, we are going to choose the one we created, which is the access bucket, which is our data source name. Click OK. So now we'll go back to our, our IAM credential. So go back to your AWS console and copy the access key, which is going to be our username here. And go back to, go back again and copy the secret key, which is going to be our password secret access key, paste it and click connect. So it has 
it has connected so you can see our odbc you can see our data catalog click click on this icon on the data catalog click on the taxi data set which is the name of our database in our athena click select transform taxi data set you can see it's previewing it will take a few minutes to preview So I have this error. I did um I did I omitted a process. So let's go back to our ODBC. Double click on the assets bucket we just created. And under the output, I'm supposed to put an the X3 bucket for the output of our AWS Athena. So let's go back to so this is the data set I'm using. So I'm using this taxi. This is the bucket I'm using, the taxi data set schemes arise. So I'll click on it. You can see that we have two folders, which are, this one is the raw data, and this one is the output of the AWS Athena where the query stores its metadata. So let me just click it for you to see. So you can see all these things are the metadata of so we need to we need to um we need to get the URL of this output data. So click on it and come here and copy the S3 bucket URL and come over here and um, paste it and click on test again. So you can see it's successful. Click on OK and click on OK. Click on OK again. And now let's go back to our buckets and let's um, discard changes. And let's try to connect it again. So let's go to our. Uh, let me move this one. So let's go to let's type odbc open database connectivity click on it click on connect select the access buckets we created so so select um, the AWS data catalog, click on it, and click on the taxi data set, and select the transform data set. So it's previewing our data set. So this is the um, preview of our data set that we want to inst that we want to move to Power BI. So you can see, you can see, you can see all those values. You can see the values. You can see the little transformation we did where we create an an ID in the previous project. So now let's click on load data. So it's loading our data to Power BI. So it's loading our data. So we have about 3 million, 3 million plus roll. So it's gonna take a little bit of time to load all this data to our Power BI.
So we have downloaded the data successfully and you can see the data set here. So let's click on it. You can see all the data set now. So we have successfully moved our data set from AWS Athena to Power BI. This is how you connect your AWS Athena to Power BI using ODBC. Thank you guys for watching and keep learning.